Now to the storm watch. Up to 60 million Americans will be uncomfortably hot today and millions more could face severe thunderstorms. Parts of the Northeast already affected by severe storms that caused serious damage over the weekend. CBS 4's Don Daler is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with a look at the damage. The nine people injured were taking cover under a pavilion tent when lightning hit a large tree nearby, sending it crashing down on top of them. A severe weather event must have came through the park. Numerous trees are down. Lifeguards helped get people out from under the tent before emergency responders arrived just minutes later. Firefighters cut the tree apart to make sure no one else was trapped underneath. Ruben Diaz's girlfriend was carrying his one year old son when she was hit by the branches and fell to the ground. He's been crying. I could tell it hurts. You know, look at his face. It's all swollen and stuff. Extreme weather hit a wide swath of the country all weekend. This lightning storm in Kansas forced drivers to pull off the road as winds hit over 60 miles an hour. About 100 miles away, strong gusts toppled some 140 train cars. The derailment blocked over a mile of track. Further east in Pennsylvania, a microburst tore through the town of Lawrenceville, toppling trees and knocking out power for hundreds of customers. Two buildings were damaged, including one owned by Jimmy Cohen. I'm shocked. I mean, I'm totally shocked. Winds also took down trees in Wisconsin. I never seen anything like this. As lightning cracked through the trunk of this tree in Illinois. And it was really bright, and all you, all you saw was a cloud of white smoke coming out of here. Ruben Diaz's girlfriend, as of yesterday, was still in the hospital with a back injury, and he says it's a miracle no one was more seriously injured. Don Daler, CBS News, Feasterville, Pennsylvania.